Some very sad news to report out of Kansas as we have learned that Kansas pastor, 39-year-old Philip Hett, has tragically passed away along with his 10-year-old daughter, Abigail. This happened on Sunday, May 30th. They were both involved in a car accident that took place about eight miles south of Salina there in Kansas, reportedly happening on Interstate 135 when a truck that was heading northbound on the interstate. A pickup truck had went ahead and crossed over into the southbound lanes, and uh, that is where the collision happened uh, with Het's vehicle there. Now, they also had in the car uh, Philip's 13-year-old daughter, Jillian. She did survive the crash. However, she's in the hospital right now with life-threatening injuries. Um, it was actually some good Samaritans that Fortunately, thank God they were able to pull her out of the vehicle uh, before other first responders can get there uh, to go ahead and, and get her other medical attention, get her off to the hospital. Uh, she is expected to survive. We don't know the, you know, the actual, you know, uh, lasting effects of this crash, what it may mean for her, but um, she did make it out of this. Unfortunately, not the same for 10-year-old Abigail and 39-year-old Pastor Philip Hett. Now, Philip was serving as the spiritual leader of Bethany Village. They're a retirement community there in Kansas. They're associated along with the Evangelical uh, Lutheran Church of America. And just described as a wonderful man, somebody that all the residents there just loved. He was a respected theologian. The messages that he would share with everybody there would just take a deeper dive into understanding scripture, uh, getting them to really you know, understand what faith is, you know, what it means to be a Christian, just going beyond kind of playing church and just, you know, saying you're a Christian, but what is it really all about? Just that whole ministry of going deeper, nothing but positive things have been said about this man uh, and his work there at Bethany Village, everything that he did, 39 years old, way too soon uh, to go. And you never know when something like this is going to happen. And you know, Jillian, although, you know, she survived this, she's going to have to grow up now without her father and uh, without her sister there around. But um, who knows? Maybe she'll continue on in her father's footsteps with what he started here, what he did for everybody there at Bethany. And our prayer is going out to everybody there in Kansas who knew Pastor Het, who were a part of his life, who were part of his ministry, his team, that God would just give you the peace at this time and comfort your hearts. And, um, and no, and this is the blessed hope we have, you know, if we're saved, if we're born again, all those loved ones that we've lost, no matter how we've lost them, we will see them again one day in heaven. And this is why, you know, we do these videos here at this channel. I, normally I talk about the prophetic headlines and things that are going on right now with us being in the last days, but then you see stories like this come out. And it's also another reason because we're trying to get people to Jesus here. And another reason here is because you just don't know when your last day is going to be. You don't know. And a lot of people there in the community in Kansas even said it. They said, a lot of people say this, it's never gonna happen to me, it's never gonna happen to me. And then it does, and it's just awful. And so, if you want that assurance, if you wanna know that when you leave this earth, however it is that you leave it, are you gonna be spending eternity with God or not? Well, you have to be a born again believer. You have to believe in Jesus Christ. You have to accept him as your Lord and Savior. And you start by first acknowledging that you're a sinner. We all are. But God sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. So what's our part in this? Well, we have to repent of our sins. Repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry, but to turn from a lifestyle or a habit, whatever it is in your life that's counter to what the word of God says. You ask Jesus to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away. The Bible says he won't even remember it anymore. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, all the prayers going out here to Pastor Philip's family, all who knew him there, Bethany Village as well. Uh, pray that God would be with you at this time. I'll have some more information for you guys down below. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.